Hello, good morning and welcome back to all of you. My name is Vishal Manucha, owner and director at Net Worth Immigration Solutions. Welcome back to another live session. It's 11 a.m. right now, end of September. Today, 30th of September, and we are coming to the winters in Canada very soon. Already, it has started getting very cold here. So welcome back to our live session. This session happens every Friday, same time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and in India, 8.30 p.m. This session is all about the update from the immigration uh, industry in the last one week and definitely gives you the time to ask any question you have live so that that could be answered for you right away. There are a lot of exciting updates for this week. X percent draw was held. The number is going higher. The score is dropping down. We will be discussing about in detail. Then the, the, <clears throat> the second topic we will be discussing today will be the OANP. Yes, OANP is going very aggressive is inviting a lot of people in one of the particular stream the score in this draw dropped to 266 we will be discussing about what stream it is and what can make you qualify for that stream so stay tuned we will be talking a lot about that stream today we have been discussing previously also but with the draw which was held yesterday on 29th of september that went to as low as 266 so now you can see how important is that draw and how international students can benefit out of it. We will be discussing about that too. Then the third topic will be that Canada has like, they have already planned to remove all the COVID restrictions starting the 1st of October. So we will be talking about what were those restrictions and what uh, that have been implemented now. Sorry, not the restrictions have been implemented. They have been lifted now. The 1st of October, there will be a lot of requirement which is not to be met. As a COVID-19 perspective, we will be talking about what are those requirements, what were those requirements, and you are not now supposed to meet them anymore, starting from 1st of October 2022. Then we have another, we will be discussing a very important stream today from Alberta, which is called Alberta Tech Stream, which is doing very good. The PNP is getting approved in less than month's time, and then you get into the express entry, and the express entry is getting approved within four to six months. So in the whole process of six to eight months, you can come here to Canada in Alberta in one of the most popular stream. We will be discussing a lot about that stream today. The NOC NOC, which are eligible under that stream, and what can make you qualify if you are willing to come to Canada and you have a tech background, this update and information will be for you. So stay tuned for that too, especially tech people. This is going to be very important information we will be sharing, a very important stream we will be discussing today. So let us start up this show with the most awaited draw which has been awaited across the globe. The people who want to immigrate to Canada look after this draw which was draw for more than one and a half year but now since July 2022 the draw has resumed, resumed back again and the number of people who are invited each draw is increasing by every draw. So just to give you an idea, the draw which was held day for yesterday on Wednesday, the number of invitations sent under this draw was five, sorry, three seven five zero, and the CRS score dropped to five hundred and four points, which is six points lower than the previous one. The previous draw, which was held fortnight from now, uh, was uh, invited three five zero zero people, and which is thirty five hundred, and the number of the CRS score was five hundred and ten. So in this draw, as per my prediction again in the last show also, the draw has again dropped down to 504. So now it's just a matter of time that it will be dropping below 500 very, very soon. So this is something for you to look forward to. This is something uh, if you're somebody who wants to come to Canada on an express entry or within Canada, if you are already targeting the stream, the score is dropping down. So you can see when it started in July, the score was 557. So in the matter of few months, it has dropped down to 504, which is more than a 50 point almost decrease from the first draw, which was held in July. So coming draws will definitely will going to be less than 500, and we will be soon touching 490 to 500 points under CRS. It is going to happen very very soon. Stay tuned for that. This is also uh, this is one of the draw which is popular. Everybody across Canada and world who wants to immigrate to Canada does have an eye on this draw. So the score is dropping down. The chances of you getting approvals are higher, getting higher day by day, definitely getting an invite initially will be uh, getting higher. 
But if you have any questions, if you are not sure how to increase your score or what can actually increase your score, kindly contact at Network Immigration Solution. We will definitely like to help you on that one, guide you how you can increase your CRS score. So all you need to do is definitely, as I said, you need to increase your score so that you become eligible under this draw. And if you become obviously eligible under this draw, you can come to Canada on an express entry stream, which is usually processed within six to eight months of getting an invitation to apply. So that's how it's going to be right now. As I said, you as I inform you that yes, it is this was the latest draw which was held a couple of days ago the number of invitations sent was 3750 which is 250 higher than the previous draw and the score was 504 which is six point lower than the previous draw of 510. so express entry draw is happening frequently on every like every fortnight every 15 days so in a month approximately you can expect two draws to happen every month so which is now as I said, the score is dropping down, which is exciting. So if the score is dropping down, then definitely you getting a chance to apply for a, uh, for your PR are uh, getting higher. If you have any question regarding the stream, kindly contact us. Our office is based in Brampton, Ontario, in Canada, and also in Alberta. We do have two offices in India, in Karnal and Kukshetra. So if you need any help services, you can contact us, and we will be happy to help you out and guide you through your process for the PR. So if you have any question, contact us and we will help you in that regard. The second draw which I'm going to discuss is for people who live in Ontario. This is becoming the most popular draw now. The reasons are many because of the low CRS score, because of frequently happening this draw. Like this is the second draw we'll be discussing which was held in the month of September and within the month of September itself if you talk about the number of invitations, around 2,840 invitations have been sent in just this September month alone, just for one skill trade class draw. So, sorry, so that's the draw name, skill uh, trade class, Ontario skill trade class draw. Second draw was held yesterday, 29th of September. The score was dropped down. You will be shocked to do, uh, know about the score. But yes, that was the score yesterday. The score was 266. Yes, the CRS score was 266. And the number of invitations sent yesterday was 1340. So, and the previous one, when the draw was held, the score was 320 and the number of invitations was 1500. So you can see from 320, just a couple of weeks ago, the score dropped down further to 266. And the number of invitations in this whole month has been 2840. Now, who are eligible under this draw? Let's discuss about that. And how can you become eligible? It's how definitely you would like to know. So all you have to say, this is definitely somebody who has an experience in Ontario. It doesn't depend where you have done your education from, where are you from, but if you are in Ontario and you have got one year experience in any skilled trade class, really. Now, skilled trade class had four to five, uh, like three major NOC knock codes under which you can qualify. And other than that, then you have, uh, if you are qualified, if you have, all you have to do is need to have one year of experience in this stream that uh, you don't need a continuous experience. If you have a break in your stream, that is still counted, but you have to have one year experience in this stream. The NOC knock are mentioned on the, uh, obviously ONP website to just give you an idea, the, wel uh, the welders, the welder machine operators, the uh, painters, the drywall installers. The tile, uh, tile installer, all these people, and many, many more. The butcher, the baker, if you have been working in the bakery and the baker, they all are eligible under this stream. This is one of the most, most popular stream, and I think the most aggressive stream across Canada from any of the PNP where there these sort of people invited, which clearly shows that Ontario is in demand. They have a demand of these occupations. They need people with trade skill because because of the growing immigration and because of the growing business and the needs the businesses have, definitely they need more and more people to uh, get PR under the stream because now they have an experience so they're going to contribute towards the Canadian economy, the Ontario economy and that's why you can see frequent draws happening for this particular stream and the biggest surprise here or something to take you from here is only CRS score was only 266. So just give you an example. Say if you're grade 12 back home in India, you came here or anywhere in the world, 
came to Canada, you did a two-year program, and now you got a one-year experience. So even if your score is less than 300, and if less than 300 means you don't even need to score six band in IELTS. Even if you're scoring less than six band in IELTS, maybe five, 5.5, because 266, all I can assume is if even somebody has overall 5.5 band, grade 12 in India, and did a one-year program here, they will be eligible. Or even those inter foreign workers who are in Canada, in Ontario, they have not done their education in Ontario because for this stream, you don't need to do any education from Ontario. All you need to have is a one year experience in a skilled trade class stream so that you can be, uh, you can be qualified in the stream and apply. This stream also works uh, through Express Entry. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to create your Express Entry profile now, to create your Express Entry Profile, you need your education, your IELTS is mandatory, you need that stuff, then only you can qualify and your experience should be some from in one of the NOC NOC in Ontario itself. If you have these three things, you can create your Express Entry Profile, then wait for the draws to happen. I think in this year, this is the sixth or a seventh draw of this year and if you talk about the number of invitations sent under this ONP draw, I think it has almost crossed eight to 9,000 only under this stream, so which is very great. You will hardly see any people, any people who, uh, like any draw, any ONP draw, which is very, this much aggressive, which is getting uh, this much people being invited. And the most important thing is the CRS score. The CRS score was only 266. Now compare it to the Express Entry, which is around 504, so it's almost half of that. So people, I have been always telling my clients and viewers that no matter what you are scoring, you should be into the pool. The best way of you getting a chance of being picked for a PR is if you are into the pool. If you are not into the pool, then definitely you have no chance. You need to think about it that you can only get an invitation. Uh, you can only, only get this in, uh, invitation if you are into the pool. Now to be into the pool, as I said, you do your ILTS, have one year experience. Contact us if you need any help and support. We can guide you how to create uh, the profile into pool. We can also help you suggest what sort of jobs you can look forward to, where you can uh, find uh, the and where you can find these sort of employer who are ready to hire people like you. Because we also know many companies who are in skill shortage of this skill trade class people. So we can also help you referring to those people. You can go and work with them if they hire you. And maybe we, uh, if they hire you, if you have one year experience, then you may also qualify for this stream. So if you need any further information about this stream, contact us in our office in Brampton. Our office is located in Hundar at Hundarian Steels, very close to Brampton Gateway Terminal. So contact us and we will be very, very happy to help you in this regard. And we will be very grateful to guide you through the process. And as I said, don't miss this opportunity. If you are in Ontario, either you want to work permit, uh, either you're on a spousal open work permit or you're on a post-graduation work permit. As far as you have an authorization to work in Ontario or in Canada and you have you are in Ontario, we can help you under the stream to get your PR uh, or basically guide you how the process works. First of all, you have to create a profile, then you get an invite, submit your PNP. The PNP gets approved in 90 to 100 days. Once the PNP is approved, you submit your file to P for PR and once that PR is approved, you basically get your, uh, definitely you become a permanent resident in Canada and that's what your dream has been since you came to Canada. So yes, this is one of the most, most popular stream and you need to, as I said, keep in mind that this is a very, this is a stream which is conducting draws very regularly. This was the second draw of September and the total number of invitations sent in this month itself is around 2,900. So you can see the popularity of the stream and number of invitations being sent. So kindly don't miss this opportunity. If you have any question about this stream, contact us and we will be very, very happy to help you in this regard. So this was another important draw, a very important draw, which I want to discuss after Expo Century. The third is uh, Canada have announced that starting from 1st of October 2022, they are removing all the COVID-19 restrictions for the travelers. So now what does that mean for the traveler who are traveling from 1st of October? You don't need to be even vaccinated. Even if you're not vaccinated, you can travel to Canada now. You don't have to fill the Arrive Can, op, uh, Arrive Can app is now optional. So it's not uh, no longer mandatory. So you can 
come to Canada without filling that app and you will not be asked for any uh, proof of filling an Arrive Can app. It's an optional for you. If you want to fill, you can fill it. If you don't want to fill, it's totally your choice. There'll be no uh, tracing now uh, if you have any symptoms and you don't even have to quarantine now even if you have any system from the day one. So just to let you know, definitely this is a very great deal for the travelers because there were a lot of hassles. I think the world is getting out of this COVID situation. We are coming to the post-pandemic era now. We have all had a very bad two years where we were struggling to uh, with this COVID-19, but things seem to be easing up. Hopefully by end of this year, the world might be back to what it was previously, but it might take a lot of time before a lot of industries go back to their normal, uh, normal businesses. Even IRCC going back to the normal processing time uh, is something we are looking forward in the next few months. And as I discussed last uh, show also, let me just put that thing again. Uh, last time we discussed that uh, the uh, the last time we have already discussed about it that we will be getting we will be discussing about the uh, backlogs the backlogs from IRCC was reduced from 2.7 to 2.6 million in one month so basically around 100,000 applications were processed and we can already see the changes we can see the application a few of the category of the application being processed quicker and faster as compared to the other application. And all the viewers, while you are listening to this show, kindly post your question into the comment section. If you have any question, kindly post it into the comment section and I'll be very happy to answer that for you. Because this session is not just about giving you an update. This session is all about uh, you asking a question and we will be answering that for you. So right now I have got a couple of questions. Let me take up those before we take up the other very important PNP program from Alberta. Stay tuned for that. We will be discussing about it. That is very, very important for people who are planning to come to Canada and have a tech experience. So Vishal, uh, hi Vishal, how are you? Thanks for, thanks for just us. Thanks for letting us know that we have been doing the services for many years now. We have been going live on live. We have been updating our client with all the information we can. And definitely we, uh, we do uh, think that definitely this is making difference to the client. Although other than this live show, our social media platforms are very active. We do uh, share all the information, all the new updates on our social media. Either it's TikTok, it's Twitter, it's uh, it's uh, Facebook, it's Instagram, YouTube, anywhere. You can find us anywhere. We have all the channels. We have a lot of viewers and followers on that one. So if you, have, if you need regular updates about what's happening, that is something to look forward to. But this... Uh, Friday is definitely I've kept for myself to come here, give a live uh, update of whatever happened in the last one week. And as I said, give my client and viewers the time to talk to me directly, have their question answered on the live show itself. So then we have Rafat. If TR to PR is coming back. Okay, Rafat, uh, excuse me. I think we have discussed a lot about TR to PR last week, but because you have asked, uh, uh, this question let me get uh, the details of it from the last show we have as such there is no tr2 pr new pathway coming up it was already announced on 20th of september and we have discussed this previously in our show so no tr2 pr pathway is coming the five pillar they have discussed about and we have also discussed about last week is just basically getting whatever is already into the system they are just trying to improve it uh, that's the only meaning of that five pillar to be honest so there's no new pathway no new program being announced and nothing is coming as such all you need all you have is basically uh, those five pillar is just going to strengthen the program which are already there which are already running either it's express entry or pnp or other program but there is no as such new tr to pr pathway coming so if you are a foreign worker or international student so don't just keep on waiting for things to happen you have to move forward to get your PR and the only way to get you, your PR is that you have uh, you are working towards this so don't wait for TR to PR pathway program it's no longer coming it's already been announced it is just the strengthening of the previous policy we already have and that's it so there's nothing new coming up so don't wait for any more for those TR to PR uh, pathways or guidelines I hope that answers your question Rifat. Then we have got another question from Himal Sarayam from India. Can you please 
let me know that Vista Vida application for time, which mentioned or the weapon calculator with Saturdays and Sunday or without it time. Okay, Himal, that's a nice question here. Basically, though they do call a calendar, they count it as a calendar year, so yes, they are counted. But just to let you know, right now, still uh, what is written on the IFC website may not be accurate and not exactly the time frame which they are taking. Just to answer a question, express entry, uh, sorry, the, the visitor visa processing time right now is around three to four months because they are processing other categories of application which are more important than a visitor visa for an end of now. That could be a work permit, a PR application, a spousal PR application because ISCC has a huge backlog and definitely they are trying to reduce that backlog. And as I just informed you, they are, uh, they are trying and it's working also. And so you have to be patient if you're applying for a visitor visa as of now to Canada, it is taking around three to four months time. So rest definitely as I said to you, uh, to keep an eye on the email to make sure you're not miss, uh, missing your email if you've applied of your own for any further or any update but as informed it is taking around three to four months as of now then refer to the another question for us my crs score is 420 plus i'll die in ontario i already have not one experience please advise what would be the next step okay refer uh we have been discussing about i don't know which uh, i know it's uh, you have an experience under one year experience under knock b now 420 if you are not, for example, if I, if you can just also mention what exactly is this NOC knock B under which you have got experience, then I may be even able to guide you further about your question. But yes, with just a just example, if you have an knock B experience as an office admin, say for example, and if you are scoring 422, then you being invited under any of the category through ONP seems to be will be difficult to be on. The only way is to you have to improve your score if you are in Ontario or if you have an experience, as we have discussed about one of the program which is doing very great in Ontario, which is a skilled trade class, until unless you don't have an experience in that class, you've been picked at 420 seems to be difficult. Because Ontario held another draw this week, which I think uh, was a human capital stream draw, where people were invited, above 496 people uh, scored with more than 496 were invited from Ontario itself. Under few, I think there were five to seven NOC knocked through which under which they were invited. So even in that you can see the score was 496. For 100 plus you always have a chance, but it also depends on your experience. Uh, yeah, here you go. So you have 1241 code, which is an operator administrator. So with this NOC knock and 420 score, it will be difficult honestly to get an invite. Either you need to try to get an experience under skill trade class, which might help you uh, being invited under that category or you have maybe you have to improve your ILTO score which can improve it or if you have an employer you can find an employer who can who is ready to hire you permanently and ready to offer you an LMI job offer which gives you an extra 50 point that is another way you can increase your score but with just an office admin job and 420 the score may be difficult for you to uh, get an invite so I'll, I'll advise you to ideally you can book an appointment, come and visit us and we'll be happy to assist you because you're residing in Ontario itself. So it might be, if it's easy for you to come and sit down with us, I'll invite you to come and see us in the office and let's take up your case and see what further we can do from here so that you get an invite as soon as possible. So I hope that answered your question, Mr. Hassan. Uh, if you have any further question, definitely you can contact us or if you have any further question right now which you ask, you can just still post it into the comment section and I'll be happy to answer that for you. Okay, so now I'll be going back to the updates. So the last most important update, uh, not an update, basically I will say uh, the program I want to discuss today on this show is the Alberta Tech Stream. It's a pilot project program doing very, been run very successfully in Ontario and Alberta. All you need to have is have to have an experience under their, uh, under their streams. If you have those experience, uh, there are a lot of occupation. There are around 36 occupation, uh, to be honest. There are around 36 occupation under that stream. If you have an experience under that stream, most of them are tech occupation, but there are also some management positions, human resources. If you are somebody from a human resource background and if you have a job offer can qualify, all you need is one year experience under that stream and a job offer from one of the employer in Alberta. If you have that, the, you have to submit your expression of interest. The approval is taking just three to four weeks. 
And once you get your uh, approval, you submit your file, uh, you get an extra 600 point through Express Entry. So basically this is another stream which works to, uh, with Express Entry. So first you need to do is create your Express Entry profile. You, if you have a job offer, as I said, if you have an experience related to that, the chances of you being picked is very, very bright. In fact, all, almost everybody who has a job offer and experience in this field are being picked. And people can come and join that section sector, uh, do a job, and we while as I said, they can you can directly come here on a PR to be honest. So Alberta Tech Stream is something very, very important for especially people with a tech background, somebody who have got an experience into this field. This stream is definitely doing very, very great. In fact, PR, I've seen a PR coming in less than four to six months. So the processing time is very quick. This is one of the priority stream from Alberta. So if you are looking or planning to come to Canada and you have a tech experience, this is a stream to look forward for you. Although there are other provinces also like beat British Columbia is another province where you can come with the tech, uh, with the tech experience, but you need to have a job offer. So as, of, as far as you have a job offer, you can definitely come under this stream and get your PNP approved, get an extra 600 point under Express Entry and apply for your PR. So if you want to know more about this stream, contact our office in Alberta or in, uh, in uh, Brampton. We will be happy to help you and guide you and inform you that you uh, how you can qualify under this stream. And just to let you know, for this stream, you don't need to have an experience in Alberta, anywhere in the world. If you, for example, if you're an international student, have an experience here. You don't even need an uh, uh, LMI for that one if you're already in Ontario. If you have been hired by one of the province, uh, one of the employer under that, uh, under this NOC knock, then the chances are that you will get your PR without even getting an LMI approval or a job. You need a job offer for sure, but without an LMI also you can qualify, but only if you are within Canada. But as I said, if you need to know more information about this stream, contact us and we will be happy to help you uh, under this stream too. Now we have Aman asking a question, what suggestion you want to give to a student who's gonna come to Canada so he could get his PR quickly? Okay, Aman, basically, if you are coming as a student, it depends uh, which province you are coming to. Because especially if you are a grade 12 student, then you have to pick, if PR is something, definitely most of the clients want, then definitely, first of all, you need to select the province. Mostly people right now, like even if you're in Ontario, as we have discussed in this show about Ontario skill trade class stream, if you are in Ontario, even if you are grade 12, you've done a one year experience, you can invite, get an invite through that stream. This is one of the stream I'm talking about, but all the provinces have different. Uh, so first of all, I said, you need to select the province. Once you select the province, you also should be aware of what will be, how and what can lead you to permanent residency. You should know that on the day one, if, when you start planning to send your, send a student to Canada, uh, that is something you should be aware of before you need to counsel the student properly, that this is the pathway for you to get PR. All the provinces have different, different pathways. Basically, I will say, uh, because all the provinces are very aggressive these days, there is a skill shortage in Canada and they need people here. So any of the province you pick, all you need to do is you need to understand the whole process. And as far as you know the whole process, if you need further guidance and assistance, definitely somebody of us can, as a consultant, can help you. But first of all, definitely uh, do your IELTS, get a good score, select a program, maybe a program which, for example, once you select a province, you can also select a program. Depending on what is in occupation in demand in that province, you can select a program accordingly and do an experience in that stream and you will become eligible for PR for one or the other stream. So that's how it works, but, Aman, but if you need further assistance or further help, definitely you can contact us and we'll be happy to help you in that regard. I hope that answers your question, Aman. Then we have Rifat Hassan asking for another one. They have extended 18 months through the application already expiring the PGWP. My work permit will expire in January. So can we also get the same period of 18 months additional as we were also factoring in COVID? But if it, as of now, there is no further information about that this program will be extended to the people whose study permit is expiring, sorry, study permit or work permit expiring in January 2024 or any time in January 2024. As of the announcement made, it is only till December 2022. It seems difficult that that will be announced, but again, you never know because even this 18 month which was announced recently was not on the cards but it still happened so there might be a chances i will not totally say no but uh, 
don't get take too much of hope that that's going to happen because you're only hardly left with four months of your work permit and as you mentioned on your previous uh, chat that you have only 420 points and you have an experience in the office admin so with 420 and office admin and keeping in mind only four months left for your work permit you definitely need to take a quick action so that you get your if you're aiming to get your permanent residency in Canada you need to start up thinking very very seriously from the uh, moment right now I know you've already been will be thinking about it to how to get to PR but your time is running and don't be very hopeful that the work permit will be extended again so we need to work out something for you within this time frame what I will advise you again is kindly visit us book an appointment contact us and as I said we will be happy to guide you and assist you and see how we can help you from here but you have to act very very fast very quick because the time left for you is very uh, like very few, like just few months to be honest you have to be very careful that you are not missing out on to any important information as of now and planning ahead for your PR so that is something you need to look forward to refer. okay so that is not uh, making us coming to an end of the program for this today usually we have the show for around 30 to 40 minutes so we have uh, the code but we still have time to ask your question and I'll be happy to answer that for you if it, uh, I think as I said uh, that's even fine that's also okay even if you're a security supervisor and uh, one two four one that experience will be counted uh, under your PR for express entry for one year so that's fine but I'll advise you to kindly visit us for further information and guidance and we will see how we can help you from the situation you are in right now before we before I let you go I'll just do a recap and before I do a recap I just want to uh, make another information here that onshore admissions for students for January and May 2023 are open they are basically very few seats available if you're somebody in Canada looking to start a program in January again you have to act very very fast seats are very limited for January 22 23 and May 23 intake so kindly get back to us if you or any of your relative is looking for an onshore admission onshore means you're already in Canada you want to see a finish your program looking to start another start another or the other, uh, could be into any other situation then contact us we can also help you in admissions anywhere uh, anywhere across the uh, anywhere across the world anywhere across the Canada definitely if you're looking for admission you can contact us can I book an appointment Saturday yes definitely you can book I am available this Saturday which is tomorrow but next Saturday I'm not available so if you want to come and see me tomorrow you can call the mail line at the reception book an appointment and we are only available tomorrow between 11 to I will be only personally available between 11 to 2 so if you can make up into that time during that time definitely we can sit down discuss evaluate your situation and guide you from there but for that you have to call our mail line 647-891-0647 to book an appointment once you book an appointment uh, over the call definitely then you can come and see me tomorrow between 11 to 2 so thank you all the viewers for joining into the session we had another lively session another big important update have been discussed if you still have any question kindly contact us through social media through our website through calling whatever is the best way you think you can you want to get in touch with us we are available on all the social media platform you can contact us through any of them and you can also visit our office or call us to book an appointment so thank you all for joining my name is Vishal Manuja uh, director at Networth Immigration Solution our office is based in Brampton, Ontario, Alberta, Calgary and two offices back home in Karnal and Kushetra. Thank you all for joining us to the show. We will see you all next Friday, same time, 11 a.m. Till then, goodbye and have a good weekend and a great week ahead. See you all on next Friday. Thank you.